Hello, Dan Nagelkowski here and welcome to my 7th Arduino tutorial from my Arduino tutorial series. Uh, today I will talk about uh, MATLAB and uh, how to connect it to the uh, Arduino board uh, using the official MATLAB's uh, Arduino input-output package. First, we need to download the MATLAB support for uh, Arduino as known as uh, Arduino input-output package uh, from the official MATLAB website which will enable interaction between the Arduino board and the MATLAB. The zip file contains uh, installation.m file, uh, PD files with a sketch that uh, needs to be uploaded to the uh, Arduino board, uh, Simulink libraries and some uh, examples. There are five different sketches uh, that come with the zip file. The first sketch uh, enables analog and uh, digital input-output and uh, basic serial communication. The second sketch includes what the first one does, uh, plus uh, encoders support. The third one includes what the second one does, uh, plus servo support. And the fourth and the fifth sketch uh, include uh, what the previous uh, sketches do, plus uh, enables uh, Adafruit motor shield version 1 and 2 support. The working principle is uh, similar to the one we uh, explained in the previous tutorial for interaction between uh, Arduino and processing. We will use the serial port for uh, communication of the uh, Arduino board and uh, MATLAB. That means uh, first we need to upload a sketch uh, to the Arduino board uh, that will work as a server and it would continuously run on the uh, Arduino and it would uh, listen for commands uh, arriving uh, from the serial port and uh, executes them and uh, if needed uh, returns an answer. In order to install the Arduino input output package first we need to run MATLAB as administrator and set the path to the folder named Arduino IO that came with the zip file now by typing install underscore Arduino in the command window, MATLAB will install the uh, Arduino input output package. Once we have done this and uh, uploaded one of the sketches to the Arduino board, we are ready to make the first example. We will make very simple example where we will use a button and a LED and uh, we will make a code that will uh, enable the LED to turn on when the button is pressed. Uh, we will connect the button to pin number 12 and uh, the LED to pin number 8. Okay, so first we need to create an uh, Arduino object. Uh, we do that uh, using this function. And uh, here we set our COM port number. My Arduino board is connected to COM port 4. And uh, this command will uh, enable interaction between the Arduino board and uh, the MATLAB. But be before we continue, it's uh, uh, always good to use the clear function. Uh, so uh, that we are sure that there is uh, nothing uh, in the object from the previous runs. Okay. Uh, now on that object we will use the function uh, pin mode uh, to declare the pin number 8 as an output and also the pin number 12 as input. Okay. Uh, now I will use the function tick. Uh, this function uh, starts a, a stopwatch timer. I will use this to uh, create a while loop that will uh, last for uh, 10 seconds. I will do it like this while and using this tuck uh, the tuck function uh, actually reads the elapsed time uh, from the stopwatch 
that we have uh, initialized uh, using this uh, tick function so our loop will uh, last for uh, 10 seconds and uh, here in the while loop we will build our code uh, first uh, in a variable b we will uh, read uh, where the button is uh, pressed so we will have a digital read we will read the pin number uh, 12 where it is pressed and uh, if it's pressed if b is true uh, we will uh, use the digital write function to set the pin number 8 to uh, high voltage level and that will uh, turn on the LED else the, if the button is not pressed the LED will be off Okay, so that's the code. Now let's see how it works. After we have saved our uh, script, we can click on the run button. Here we can see that the MATLAB is uh, trying to connect uh, to the Arduino board. And uh, once the connection is uh, established, when I uh, press on the button, the LED turns on. If you have any questions you can ask them uh, in the comments section and uh, also if you like my videos please subscribe like and uh, share them